subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Food that we consume contains mainly carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. These carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids are complex organic molecules. These complex organic molecules are too large to be directly absorbed into our bloodstream. They need to be broken down into small and soluble molecules. These complex organic molecules are broken down by enzymes. Enzyme is a catalyst for biochemical reaction. How do catalysts affect biochemical reactions? Let's get to know other catalysts used in various type of reactions. Click each of the reaction to learn more. Nitrogen and hydrogen gases react to produce ammonia in the presence of iron as a catalyst. Ammonia is manufactured at a large scale via Haber process. Key in the catalyst used in the preparation of ammonia. Sulfur dioxide gas reacts with oxygen gas to produce sulfur trioxide in the presence of vanadium 5 oxide as a catalyst. Sulfur trioxide is used in manufacturing sulfuric acid via contact process. Key in the catalyst used in the preparation of sulfur trioxide. Methanol reacts with carbon monoxide to form acetic acid in the presence of rhodium as the catalyst. Acetic acid is widely used in the polymer industry. Key in the catalyst used in the preparation of acetic acid. Click the check button when you are done. We have learned that catalysts can affect the rate of reaction. Now, let's find out how catalysts work to increase the rate of reaction. Imagine there is a mountain between two valleys. How would people from one valley go to the other valley when there is no alternative route or shortcut? Yes, there is no other way than to climb over the mountain. Only the most healthy and fit will manage to get to the other valley. Do you think there is an alternative way to get to the other valley? Click the alternative method button to find out the answer. More people are able to go to the other valley faster and easier by making a tunnel that cuts through the mountain. The tunnel is an easier or an alternative path for the people. Let's apply that to catalysts. This graph is like the mountain between the valleys. It shows the energy level before and after a reaction. A reaction occurs when particles collide with enough energy. For the reaction to take place, the reactants must have enough energy to react. Some reactions need higher energy compared to others. A reaction without the presence of a catalyst would follow the normal path and require high energy. In the presence of a catalyst, the amount of energy required is lowered by providing a new lower energy pathway for the reaction. This will increase the rate of reaction. Does the catalyst change physically and chemically at the end of a reaction? Observe the animation and answer the questions. Does the catalyst change physically? A catalyst may change at the end of a reaction. Does the catalyst take part in the reaction? Do you think the catalyst changes chemically?
Does the amount of catalyst change after a reaction? Observe the animation and answer the question. Does the amount of catalyst change after a reaction? The amount of catalyst is the same before and after a reaction. Can catalyst change the yield of a chemical reaction? Observe the animation and answer the questions. Can catalyst change the yield of a chemical reaction? A catalyst does not change the yield of a chemical reaction. Can the impurities affect the yield of a chemical reaction? Observe the animation and answer the question. Can impurities in the reactants affect the yield of a chemical reaction? Impurities in the reactant can affect the yield of a chemical reaction. This is because a catalyst can become less effective when there are impurities. Can a catalyst be used for all types of reactions? Observe the animation and complete the sentence. Drag and drop the correct answers. Catalyst is specific for a certain type of reaction. Do catalysts affect the rate of reaction? Let's investigate the effect of catalyst on the rate of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Will catalyst manganese 4 oxide affect the rate of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide? These are the apparatus and materials needed for this experiment. Observe the video and the reading of the burette for every half minute for 4 minutes for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide without catalyst. Observe the video and the reading of the burette for every half minute for 4 minutes for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide with catalyst. Based on the data collected for both experiments, calculate the total volume of gas released at every half minute. Plot the graph of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide with catalyst. Plot the graph of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide without catalyst. The rate of oxygen gas liberated increases when manganese 4 oxide is added to hydrogen peroxide. This proves that manganese 4 oxide acts as a catalyst and speeds up the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to produce water and oxygen gas. Is the hypothesis accepted? Catalyst is a chemical substance 
that changes the rate of reaction without undergoing chemical changes itself. Catalyst provides an alternative path to lower down the minimum energy required for a reaction to occur. The amount of catalyst is the same before and after a reaction. It does not change the yield of a chemical reaction. It is chemically unchanged at the end of a reaction, but could physically change. It is specific for a certain type of reaction. Impurities can cause it to become less effective. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.